The students want to have their schools nice. We're gonna get sick of students just going to going to messed up schools and having to deal with the teachers that don't care about them. And, and why isn't Chevron helping to pay for the schools? I don't know. <laughs> okay. But they have a lot of money for other things. They just don't care. Why is that? Because well, we. Look out. It's like everybody at Chevron, they have money. Like, they have a lot of money, and they could just do whatever they want. And the poor people, they don't want to help them. They don't care about them. They just want to stay, stay fine. You know? It's not right. What is it like in the schools today in, Shev in Richmond? What's the situation? Horrible. Like, graffiti all on the walls. Like, the kids, rowdy. The, pr the principals, just not right. It's horrible. So it's hard to get an education? Yeah, very hard to get an education. And that's why you're here today? Yep, to support. What's your name? Josh. And how old are you? Twelve. What do we want? Time for school. What do we want? It? We want it now. Go. What do we want? Money for school. What do we want? It? We want it now. What do we want? Money for school. What do we want? It? We want it now. Uh, I'm Dr. Henry Clark, the executive director of the West County Toxics Coalition. People need to really speak out uh, now because I think that uh, with the cutbacks in education and jobs and all of our services, uh, these are uh, human rights that we all deserve and, you know, to see our human rights trampled on while I hear the uh, Obama administration talking about uh, funding schools uh, uh, and jobs in Afghanistan and it's just a contradiction for me to see uh, all these cutbacks here at home and talk about uh, funding uh, wars and uh, jobs and schools over in Afghanistan and so I'm here to uh, add my voice uh, to the uh, protests against these contradictions uh, and injustices. I believe charity begins at home and spread abroad so we should be spending our money at home providing uh, education and health care and jobs at home first and foremost and that we got any money left over after we take care of our needs at home yeah then we can help somebody else but we need to help ourselves at the moment why, why is Chevron refusing to pay uh, its taxes for the schools in Richmond well you know the thing with Chevron is, is that uh, Ch Chevron is not a good neighbor uh, they not only don't pay their fair share of taxes for schools uh, in Richmond but they don't uh, invest in our communities that are surrounding uh, the refinery, they never have. Uh, they hire less than 5% uh, uh, of their workforce uh, lives anywhere here in the uh, city of Richmond and certainly uh, very few if any from the surrounding communities like North Richmond and Parchester Village uh, uh, work yet we uh, receive the brunt of Chevron uh, toxic chemical assault. This is an arrogant company they have primarily uh, uh, felt that Richmond was a company town and they can get away with basically polluting and murder and really don't have to pay no taxes because they uh, control the political process and so now people are waking up to the role that Chevron plays in our, our community in terms of not paying their taxes and hiring people yet making billions in profits and people are, are, are protesting uh, like today but this is an arrogant company uh, you know, with money, and it's the same thing. I follow the operations all around the world, from uh, Richmond to Nigeria, uh, Ecuador, and the Philippines. It's the same arrogant attitude, even more so in those places where they could bow politicians and uh, get away with uh, uh, bloody murder. So uh, the company needs to be held accountable, and the only way they're going to do that is the only way that's going to happen is the people continue to uh, organize and demand that Chevron be a good neighbor and pay their fair share of taxes. Chevron. Marching on Chevron. For education. For education. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. People want to know.
spews out toxins, they kill people, they kill the community, and they don't want to pay a few dollars for schools in this community. Now, Chevron here. Now, this is a long-term struggle, and Chevron knows that. That's why they have a lot of security, because they want to protect their billions of dollars. They want to protect their money, and they want to keep the people from getting the money. That's right. That's right. with the owners of Chevron. Now what we say is, we're gonna fight back, and people are saying, this company should be run by the people, for the people, not for the profits of these executives. That's what we're saying. Why should the billions of dollars that, that Chevron makes go outside Richmond? Why should they go into the pockets of these corporations when the schools are falling apart, when the teachers are having furloughs, when they can't have pencils in the classrooms and they're saying they need more profits, they can't pay small amount of taxes for the schools of Richmond? We have to organize. March 4th, there's going to be a statewide strike, marches, actions of public workers and students all over the state to say, pay for public education. We have a basic right. Stop these war abroads, which Chevron is supporting. Chevron was involved in supporting the Iraq war. They were involved in the attack of Afghanistan. Why? Because they want to steal the oil from the people in these other countries. Not for the people of this country. We're saying we have a right to the profits of the oil companies. They should go for education. They should go for the schools. They should go for health care. People are dying in the street because they can't get health care. And this company says they don't want to pay taxes. The schools. That money came from Proposition T. Proposition T has now been overturned by the judge. So Proposition T was going to force Chevron to pay for the schools. But that money has been taken away. What we learn from that is that you cannot tax the rich to get what you need. You have to take it away from them. There is a misconception in the world today, and that misconception is that the resources of the world can be owned by a few individuals for their profit. That cannot help our communities. They will not give us education. They will not stop the wars. They will not provide the jobs. I sent the message of the march to Chevron, to the international students movement, and we told them we wanted to expropriate Chevron. They said, that's not enough, and I agree with them. We have to call for the expropriation of all the major corporations. That's who's holding us down. It's a system of capitalism that has to be destroyed, and Chevron is an example of that. Chevron is murdering us. They're killing us with our taxes and they don't care. All they care about is their next check. They need to stop and think about the schools that are in jeopardy. We need money. We need money. We need it now. We need it now. We need money. We need money. We need it now. We need it now. Think about the children. Give us all we need. We want our education. This company and are violating the law every day, refusing to pay taxes and terrorizing the people of this community and the people of the world. That's your responsibility. That's Instead, it. they apparently feel we're a deadly threat to them right here, you know. The whole police department of Richmond has been mobilized to this community right here because there's a protest about. 
Chevron. 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 Chevron.